This video is brought to you by Brain.Work. If you're looking for a place to learn how to solve interesting and challenging math questions, like the one I'm about to show you, Brain.Work is a place for you to go. Especially during the summertime, be sure you keep learning and doing the math so that you won't be out of shape. And you can also use the link Brain.Work slash BlackBerryPen. If you're one of the first 200 people to sign up for the annual premium subscription with the link, you can get a 20% off discount. And you can find the link down below in the description. And right now, I'm going to show you guys how to solve this limit question. And in fact, this is from one of the problem solving sections. And be sure you pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try this. And now let me tell you guys that the answer to this right here is equal to 1 and minus 1 over e. <laughs> if you thought that the answer to this was equal to just 1, because you still we have the end to the end on the top, and this end to the end on the bottom, and just cancel the out. That's actually not correct. Especially, we have this bunch of stuff right in the front. We must do this, do this carefully. And you can also go check out Brian's page. I will have the link in the description for you. This way, you can see other people's solutions as well. It's best to learn from other people. And now let me demonstrate the way that I like the most. Hmm. I am going to tackle the top first. And I will do some factoring, right? So let me just put this down on the side. So this is just the top. Everybody has an end, right? Right? So let's go ahead and factor out the end. This way we get 1 plus, it becomes just n, and then plus n squared plus da da da. And this right here is just n to the n minus 1, because I factor out n to the first right in the front. And in fact, this right here has a nice expression. Well, what is it? Well, I will just put down a note right here for you guys. Imagine that when we are factoring n to the n minus 1, this is in fact equal to n minus 1 times n to the n minus 1 plus n to the n minus 2, and so on, up to 1, like this. And as we can see, this right here is exactly this part. Therefore, this is nothing but just n to the nth power minus 1 divided by n minus 1. So we can actually come here and say this is equal to n times, I will have this on the top, n to the n minus 1 power over this factor n minus 1. So this is actually going to be on the numerator. And now, of course, we'll just continue. I will write down the limit as n goes to infinity. And then for the top, notice, originally, this was a series. But after all the algebra work, we end up with n times n to the n minus 1 over n minus 1, right? I will put this down for the top, and I'll write this down first. n over n minus 1. And you will see why in a minute. And then, of course, I will have to multiply by n to the n minus 1 right here. So let me put that down like this. And now that's the whole numerator. It's really nice, you'll see why, seriously. But for the denominator, let me just write it down as how it is. We have 1 to the n plus 2 to the n, plus 3 to the n, plus 4 to the n, and so on, right? So let me just put down dot dot dot, plus. I'm actually going to write down one more term, the term before the last one. And the last one we know is n to the n. And now, a small pop quiz for you guys. What should be this term? Well, the answer to that is because all the powers are n, so we have to have n right here. And for the base, instead of n, the term before that is n minus 1. So this is n minus 1 to the nth power. OK, as you all know, n to the n was pretty much the dominating boss, right? Therefore, let's go ahead and divide the top and bottom by n to the n. And let's see what happened after that. Once again, this is the whole thing on the top. I will just divide this by n to the n, and then I will divide the bottom by n to the n like this. So I'm doing the same thing on top and bottom. And more algebra is coming, of course. OK, here we have the limit as n goes to infinity. And now here is the deal. On the top, this is n over n minus 1. But for this part, because I wrote it down this way, I can you know, just split the fraction like this, right? 
n over n over n to the n over n to the n is just 1, and then minus 1 over n to the n, so it's just 1 over n to the n like this, and that's the whole numerator now. For the denominator, we will also split the fraction. It's 1 to the n over n to the n, so I can write it down as 1 over n to the n, because the powers are the same. And then we'll do the same thing for the rest. The next one is 2 over n to the n plus 3 over n to the n, and so on, so on, so on. Dot, dot, dot. And then I will write this down over that, right? So I'll put this down as n minus 1 over n, and then all raised to the nth power. And lastly, I have this over that. I know it's 1, but let me purpose it right yes. n over n raised to the nth power. So hopefully, so far so good. But now let's look at the top. When n is approaching infinity, n over n minus 1, this right here should be easy to see that it's just approaching 1, right? Next, we multiply by 1 minus 1 over infinity to the infinity power. Of course, it's just infinity on the bottom. 1 over infinity, which is 0. 1 minus 0 is just, once again, 1. And this right here, also approaching 1. On the top, it's just a product of two ones in the limit. It's 1. So that's really, really nice. And we just have to really focus on how to handle the bottom for now. Anyway, on the top, I will just write down the blue one that we got. And you might be wondering now, how can we handle this? I'll show you, don't worry. The limit as n goes to infinity of the bottom portion now. The deal to do this is that I will actually like to look at this backwards. Why? You will see. First of all, this is 1. So this is just 1 to the nth power. So no arguments, right? So let me just write down it's 1 to the nth power. All right? And then the next part is this. I will write down plus, of course. I will split the fraction again. It's just 1 minus 1 over n. So I will put this down. It's just 1 minus 1 over n, and then raised to the nth power. And you may imagine that we had minus 1, because that was the term prior to the last one. A term before that, it will be a minus 2. And you pretty much will have plus 1, right? Because it's a minus 2 over n. You have n over n is 1, and then minus 2 over n, and then raised to the nth power, and so on, so on, so on. And let me just put on dot, dot, dot. n is going toward infinity. You can just put on dot, 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 actually. Now, how can we handle this situation? 1 to the n, this 1 is a solid 1. Keep that in mind. 1 over 1 is a solid 1. So as n goes to infinity, this guy is approaching 1. Okay, This guy is approaching 1. Because this right here, let me just make a note, it's a solid 1. Next, what's this? As n goes to infinity, of this is what? You have to know your best friend. And if you would like to know what your best friend is, you can check out the videos in the description. But you pretty much you just have to know. This is pretty much we have negative 1 for the a value, and the b value is 1. This is approaching to e to the negative 1 times 1. So it's pretty much e to the negative 1. And likewise, this right here, as n goes to infinity, the a value in the best friend formula is negative 2. And then the b value is, once again, this one. So the whole thing, by the best friend formula, it's e to the negative 2 power. So you see that this right here is pretty much just telling you to do the following. I will just write it down on the bottom. On the bottom, we are just trying to do 1 plus 1. 1 plus e to the negative 1 plus e to the negative 2 plus e to the negative 3 plus dot dot dot. And once again, the reason I didn't need to write this down, because in fact, we have infinitely many of these terms. We just have to focus on what's the final sum for this. How can we do this? This is still a series, but better yet, this is the geometric series. Each every time you multiply by e to the negative 1, e to the negative 1, it's a 
infinite geometry series. e to the negative 1 is 1 over e. e is about 2.7 something. So this infinite series converges, right? So you know this right here is actually equal to 1 over 1 minus e to the negative 1 power. And once again, it's by infinite geometric series, which are equal to e to the negative 1. And of course, this is less than 1, so it converges. That's pretty much it. All in all, we have 1 on the top over this on the denominator. So I will just write down 1 over 1 minus e to the negative 1. And of course, from here, we can just do the reciprocal, and we just get that, 1 minus e to the negative 1. And of course, you can write this down as 1 minus this as 1 over e. And as you guys can see, this right here, it's really, really cool because we have covered so much in this question from Brilliant. Be sure you guys go check out Brilliant.org. This is how you guys can make your summer productive because they do offer a lot of interesting and challenging math courses for you guys to study and learn from. There are math courses in calculus, number theory, complex analysis, probability, and a lot more. And their courses are set up in an interesting and challenging way so that you guys won't be bored. But you have to remember, once you set up, you still have to go through all the work. You still have to dig in and do the questions, okay? It's not like you can just sign up and magically you know everything. It's not like that. I didn't get this question right the first time I do this because I thought the answer was equal to 1, as many of you guys would thought so as well, right? But there are so many technical things that we always, always have to be careful. And Brilliant is the place that for you guys, that you guys can learn about those things. And once again, be sure you use the link brilliant.works slash black pen red pen. That way you guys can also support my channel as well. And I really appreciate that. And as always, that's it.